Welcome back to the channel, it's Jared with Six Obros, and uh, today we're going to do a Torque Pro review, finally. I know you guys have been waiting for this, a lot of you guys have asked, and uh, I do want to say, hands down, it is the fastest way to get into monitoring your truck. A lot of people like Scan Gauge 2, the Edge uh, line of products are also very highly regarded. But when you're talking, how can I start monitoring the tr truck in the cheapest way possible, as quickly as possible? Uh, you can't beat an Android device and a $5 um, OBD2 Bluetooth adapter. We'll show, I'll show you that at the end. Also, guys, I do want to start the video. If you like our content, if you are regularly watching us, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, send us a, a like the video and also leave us a comment below. We have a lot of fun stuff coming. I was just talking to a shop today about driving out and getting the truck on their dyno for some pulls and uh, working with them all summer. So that will probably happen. Uh, we're talking about three weeks maybe. I'm going to get some new tunes, get some miles on the truck, and uh, we're going to go from there. And I'll, you guys are going to see lots of dyno runs this summer. I'm going to be up there quite a bit. So anyway, without me uh, talking anymore about random stuff, let's get to the real reason you guys came to this video and that is the sorry about the picture it's kind of hazy out but uh i think this will work here so as you guys can see we have uh this is exhaust back pressure coolant fickle main power this is my boost engine oil temp and transmission temp this is kind of my default screen i go to i do have another screen set up here or you see IPR, my H pop, boost again, exhaust back pressure. I do like to keep an eye on them. Uh, I did kind of get my VGT percent up here. This screen I set up when uh, I was in New York having issues with uh, a exhaust leak. So I kind of set this screen up for that. I do like to check. Uh, it's good to just keep an eye on all these things. Uh, the truck is really smoothing out now that I have some miles on it because before my high pressure oil pump was hanging out like 700 which is a little high for idle it's coming down a lot this I don't know if this has any real I have bigger tires and stuff but for those of you guys that have a quarter mile to uh, go from a dead stop if you want your times you can kind of figure that out and here's some blank up oh, no I have engine oil and coolant temp there I think I have like seven screens or so I don't have most of them set up I have random stuff on each one and then a bunch of blanks um, I have to really set these up for various things here like my towing uh, typically I'll set one up for towing which doesn't look much different from this but let's get to an empty screen here let's fill this screen you hold down on it hit add display and then you pick your gauge type. I like, which one is it? Kind of go back and forth, but these, I'm a fan of these. And you can set it to monitor your low and high for those, like a uh, boost and exhaust back pressure as they go up and down. And you'll see all these different options here. And ones that don't work, you can see this one turned green and has 13.75 volts a little low but <clears throat> anyway I am at idle here there's my boost Ford specific and it has all the other stuff obviously we don't have them we don't have that coolant temperature from the transmission Let's see here, come on, let's, obviously EGR stuff, I don't have, <laughs> have anything, engine load, engine RPM, exhaust back pressure, certain, um, certain pro tuning programs will not allow you to use your exhaust back pressure, just as a heads up, there's fan speed. Here's your FICM, different FICM things, letting you know that the, it's receiving at least its 12 volts that it needs. Fuel flow rate, pulse width, fuel level, need to get some fuel. 
duty cycle, which your fuel duty cycle is always at 100%, just as a heads up. Sorry, get, try to get re... Uh, So there's lots of different things. Let's get to GPS altitude, all a bunch of GPS stuff. There's a horsepower estimator. I think that's garbage. Uh, intake air temp two. Uh, there's another intake air temp one. Uh, and basically that checks, um, I believe you have a temperature sensor in your intake, yeah, there's one in your intake manifold and there's one, at least in my truck, and then there's one in the uh, cold air intake itself. Uh, injection timing before top dead center, manifold pressure, mass airflow. Uh, that's a cool one to kind of check out sometime, see what you're flowing. And you can change the uh, various, oh. Sorry, it's very uncomfortable how I'm at in the truck. Uh, let's get out of here, show you the main screen on torque. Here's the main screen. And you can see here, profile 6.0 bros, I have it set up. You can run fault codes and it'll load that. Uh, test results. I don't even know what this screen does. I've never done it. Well, let's find out. I hope it does, isn't testing the uh, emission system because that's not there. EGR monitor <laughs> bank. Okay, so that is what it's testing. It's testing that um, your e uh, emission stuff. I don't know what this is. Graph data. I'll have to look more into that because I don't really know. Then you get into your settings and stuff like that. There's settings over here. You can have numerous vehicle profiles. There's my truck. Uh, fault codes, like I said. So it's a pretty cool app, guys. Uh, I love it. Let me grab the... Give you a crappy view of where I'm at here. This is all I uh, got. It's like $5 or so online. It uh, it works great. There are more expensive ones that they say work better. So anyway guys, uh, some of you guys were really requesting that and we do have some more videos of the truck driving, some exhaust notes coming. Well, I'll give you an idle exhaust note while I'm here. As you guys can hear, it's nothing uh, crazy. It's nothing crazy different from a uh, stock, but uh, it is a little different. So anyway, guys, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we love hearing from everybody. We uh, are gonna do some cool stuff coming, like I said earlier, dyno runs. Uh, we're going to do a chat test a lot of different tunes, a lot of different setups on this truck. And uh, we have a lot of fun stuff coming. So stay tuned, guys. Have a good one.